So I think none of us wants to do studies with animals, right? Or definitely not with humans for that matter. Mm. Like ideally and at its limit, biology will be fully understood, modeled, and everything will happen in silica, right? Question is, what do we need to do to get there? What do we need to measure and how much data do we need to have? And we now know from different pockets of biology that it's possible. For example, AlphaFold did this with protein folding, one very straight up problem. Then various SCGPT models have done this with predicting like, what's the effect of a, of a, you know, a mutation or like a, an intervention on gene expression, right? And this happened because there was a, a l very large amounts of highly structured and high quality data sets out there in the public upon which, you know, different AI models could be trained. So for us to accurately model a full physiological system, like a, like an animal or like a human, we need to have physiological data that is similarly, you know, very large scale and very highly structured.